The Rebbe starts off the Sikha by saying that we discussed many times that Rashi in his Pirush al will answer every single question that one might have in learning Pshut Yishol Mikra. And in those places where we don't find that Rashi should explain something that's difficult in the Pasuk, that must be a proof that this is something that Rashi had dealt with and had answered already or taken care of already in a previous place in Chumash, or that in learning al Derech Hapshat there's no question to start with. According to all of this, we need to understand in our parsha in the story where Yosef tells his brother who he is. He reveals himself to his brothers. And the Pasuk says, Yosef says to them, I am Yosef, is my father still alive? The question immediately is, and as Mepharshi HaToyer in fact do ask, the whole point of the parsha up until now is Yehuda telling Yosef how Yaakov did not want to send Binyamin to Mitzrayim because he was worried that if he leaves his father, he may die. Yehuda is scared that if Yosef keeps Binyamin, Yaakov won't be able to manage, Yaakov won't be able to tolerate it and handle it. As the Pasuk says, that what's going to happen if Yaakov sees that the boy is not with us? And so on. And all of this Yosef accepts, Yosef hears, it takes him, it affects him to such an extent, as the Pasuk says, he can no longer contain himself, and that's why he reveals himself to his brothers. In other words, the whole point was all based on that Yaakov is very much alive. How does it make sense after all of this that Yosef is now asking, is my father still alive? Another question. We don't even find that Yosef should actually wait for an answer to this question of what he just asked his brothers. He's not waiting for them to answer this question. Rather, as soon as he sees that they're so shocked they can't even answer him, what does he tell them? Quickly, he, first he says, come over to me, and he says, I am Yosef. And then he tells them how he's the ruler in all of Mitzrayim. And what does he finish? Maru v'alu el avi, go quickly to my father and bring him to Mitzrayim. Clearly Yosef knows his father is alive, bring him to Mitzrayim. Well, they never even answered that the father is alive. So we must say that Yosef certainly knew that his father is alive. And therefore, when he says the words, ha'oid avichai, is my father alive? Clearly, he must mean something different than the simple question, is my father still alive? The Abar Benil explains that Yosef was asking this question not because he wasn't sure whether Yaakov was alive, but rather it was in order to start off or to get into conversation. Since he knew that the brothers will feel very ashamed when he says to them, I am Yosef, he's trying to look for a way how to start having a conversation about other things. And therefore, the first thing he starts speaking about is his father. And in fact, he was planning afterwards to start discussing other family members and so on. He just didn't get to that because the brothers were so shocked that they couldn't even answer him. According to this, we could say that that's also what Rashi in Derech Apshat is understanding. And therefore, he doesn't even write it because Rashi had explained similar things already in the past. In the famous Pasuk where Hashem says to Adam, Arisha, and Ayeko, where are you? Rashi says, of course Hashem knew where he was, but Hashem wanted to get into conversation, start a conversation, so that Adam, Arisha, shouldn't be too shocked and to be able to answer. So too in the story with Cain and Hevel, where Hashem asks Cain, where's your brother Hevel? Here too, Rashi says, it was all to start off the conversation in a pleasant and a calm way. And therefore you might say Rashi is relying on those psukim, that this was only a way of Yosef sort of getting in conversation with his brothers to be able to get onto other topics because they would have been too shocked just by the information that Yosef is alive. However, the Rebbe says it's a little bit difficult in our situation to be able to say that. Because after the whole, all of the talk and everything that Yehuda had just said, about the impact that holding back Binyamin and Mitzrayim would have had on Yaakov, if Yosef is looking for another conversation piece, Yosef shouldn't be asking, is my father still alive? He could start discussing their families, asking how they are and so on. Not a question, is my father still alive? Which again, would have been an obvious thing. So the Rebbe says, we could suggest and we could answer that the word ha'oid avichai with the hey, ha'oid avichai, is not actually a question, is my father still alive? But rather in a way of astonishment, in a way of wonder. As Rashi had explained already a number of times, also similar sorts of pirushim in this hey, like for example, again back to the story of Cain, answering Hashem, he says, ha shoimer achi anoichi. It's an expression of wonder, expression of, am I his, his keeper? My brother's keeper? And so too we might say in our case that Yosef, is more expressing an expression of wonder 
and surprise the fact that his father is still alive. Of course, there will be a slight difference between this case, this example, and the other examples, because in many of the other examples, the question is sort of coming to negate or cancel the object that we're discussing, like in the case of Cain. Cain is clearly of the opinion that he's not his brother's keeper. He's asking, am I my brother's keeper? In our case, it would be a little bit different. This would be an, an astonishment that continues to exist. In other words, not doubting the fact. Yosef knows that his father is alive, but it's sort of just bringing out in him astonishment, amazement, wonder. We have an example for that as well earlier, where Rashi says by Avraham Avinu on the Pesach, Haleven Meir Shona Yivolet, Am I going to have a child at 100 years old? Which Rashi explains that this is a wonder, but that Avraham Avinu believes that's going to be the case. He's just completely amazed by it. So therefore, back to the point over here is that we could say that Yosef is not asking a question, but rather in astonishment and amazement, wow, my father is still alive. However, we still need to understand some points, even if we want to say that that's the pshat in, the, in, the, in, the, in this ha'oid avichai. Number one, why is it so surprising? Yaakov is 130 years old at the time. This is much younger than the age of, that Avram and Yitzchak had reached. So why is this such a surprise? And number two, even more importantly, how is that connected to the words Ani Yosef? How are these two parts of the sentence going together? I am Yosef. Wow, is my father still alive? And number three, why is Yosef even expressing this surprise and astonishment to his brothers? And especially to do it that very moment after he's telling them, I am Yosef. Right away saying, I am Yosef. Wow, is my father still alive? In other words, had this been a question, is my father alive? So now we could say that in fact that's what's most important to him to know is about his father. And therefore the moment he lets them know who he is, of course he wants to know right away, is my father still alive? But if the fact that Yaakov is alive, he knows and he knows it well, and all it is is just expressing it as astonishment and his amazement, why is that important to express immediately when he's telling them that he is Yosef? So the Rebbe says the explanation is a very, very simple one. Rashi had explained earlier on the Pasuk Vayimoyin Le'isnochim that Yaakov was not being comforted when he thought that Yosef had, had died. And Rashi explains because a person is never really fully comforted for a person that's actually alive and, and one only thinks that he's dead. Because it was decreed that a, a person that passed away, people should forget about him. But not about someone that's alive. And therefore, as Rashi explains, that's why Yaakov wasn't being comforted. And in fact, as the Pasuk says, by Yisabel, Yaakov was mourning for his son for many, many years. And this is actually what Yosef is saying to his brothers. Ani Yosef, meaning I am alive. And therefore, that causes the wonder and surprise. How oid avi chai, could my father be alive after all of this? Meaning, since Yosef is alive. And as we said, a person that's alive, people won't forget. So that means for 22 years straight, Yaakov is mourning for Yosef. And in fact, not only a regular mourning, like for any child, but as we know, Yaakov loved Yosef more than all of his other children. So this would have been a most unbelievable, tremendous pain, a most unusual pain. And that's why it's so surprising and so astonishing. Wow, how could Yaakov be managing with such suffering, such pain for so many years and... And, and, and still be able to be alive after all of that. And now we can also understand why Yosef is saying this to his brothers. We ask why is he expressing this astonishment to his brothers? Because this is in fact an introduction to what he's about to emphasize how important it is to rush and quickly bring Yaakov to Mitzrayim. When Yosef tells, tells his brothers, Maru v'alu elavi, quickly bring my father, it's not, it's not only the fact that let him know the great news so quickly that Yosef is still alive and therefore he won't have to mourn and he won't have to cry. But more importantly, quickly bring Yaakov immediately. As he says, Yaakov should come immediately. Yosef says to his brothers, quickly bring my father here. Why? Because since this is a matter of sakonas nefoshes, Yaakov is suffering for so, so long. So even after the fact that he'll be told that Yosef is alive, and as the Pasuk says, it will be revived, that Yosef is still alive, 
but still he needs to come quickly so that there shouldn't be any continuous danger after suffering for so many years and worrying about Yosef. It says that but now we'll understand why Yosef, in fact, before he tells them to go bring my father, he repeats himself three times with the great Arichus, telling them how, how Hashem is the one that sent Yosef into Mitzrayim. He says, Hashem sent me over here to be a supporter of life. Hashem sent me here before you. You didn't send me over here, Hashem sent me here. Why is he saying all of this? Because since every single moment that Yaakov is not meeting Yosef, there's a worry over here, Sakonis Nefoshes. So one could ask a very, very simple question. Why is Yosef telling the Shvotim, quickly go bring my father here, they should go to Eretz Yisrael and bring Yaakov to Mitzrayim. Seemingly, he should have, Yosef himself, should have quickly rushed to Eretz Yisrael and to see Yaakov. In addition to the fact that as far as Kibbut Av Va'em is concerned, Kibbut Av is concerned, so seemingly Yosef should have been going to his father, especially if you want to go quickly, and Yaakov is quite elderly at the time already. But in addition to that, it would have been much sooner, it would have been much quicker. And this is why Yosef is emphasizing and introducing and saying this strongly a number of times that the fact that I'm in Mitzrayim wasn't by choice, it wasn't, cho it wasn't by my desire. Hashem sent me. It was a mission from Hashem to be the one supplying food and grain to all of the people. And therefore, I don't have permission to leave. But, but if I can't leave, quickly, quickly go and get my father here. And now the Rebbe says another point of why it's so important to quickly rush to my father. Rashi had explained already earlier that when Yaakov was mourning for his son Yosef, was corresponding to 22 years that Yaakov was not fulfilling the mitzvah of Kibbut Avaim. And therefore, knowing that the 22 years of Yaakov's punish have now been finished, Yosef is demanding of the Shvatim, quickly go to my father. That is, since the time of punishment is over, therefore, it shouldn't be held back now, even like the blink of an eye. The Rebbe says, now it will be even more geschmack that Yosef is saying, Maru valu, he uses the term El Ovi to my father. Why doesn't he say Ovi nu to our father? Well, in addition to the fact that the pain of Yaakov is specifically connected to Yosef, but he's also hinting over here that the swiftness, the quickness is connected to the fact that Yosef should be able to fulfill properly the mitzvah of Kibbut of. That's why he says, Avi, my father, because now the 22 years of punishment that Yaakov wasn't able to fulfill his kibudav are now over. And the Rebbe concludes with a very, very powerful Eroi in Avoides Hashem. Sometimes there's a situation where a person needs to use what we call the idea of smoil doiche, the left side, the side of severity, judgment, punishment. But one needs to know that you need to be very, very careful never to use gvura punishment, strictness more than needed. And in fact, the moment that comes that you don't need this attitude of Gvura, immediately, Mehirus, in a quick way, in a swift way, you have to get involved in this Kav of Chesed, of Kiruv, of what's called Yemin Mikarevis.